What is going on, Tankers? I'm Ragnarok, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we're getting back into more replays. This time, KV-2, my favorite tank. But this one is the KV-2 Ragnarok. This is, uh, I call it the KV-2 credit card version. It's pretty much the same as the KV-2, but it's actually not as good as the Tech Tree KV-2 in terms of mobility. Uh, but nevertheless, I was called a... I was called pay to win trash during the week for playing this tank. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go mark this tank. Let's have a bit of fun. And that's how we got here. Anyway, we are running around on airfield. I am platooned up with Sammy and Titan Tanker from the Caddo Clan. This was actually during one of my streams last week. But we were just having a bit of fun, counting in on ANZ and just running around and blowing the faces off people. Just a ridiculous amount of fun. Uh, now, I don't know what's going on with the, the engine sounds all seem to be gone from this game, but, you know, we can hear other things going on, so we're just going to roll on with it. Uh, so, KV2, we're not top tier, we're obviously, you know, technically bottom tier, but it's only a two-tier game, that uh, is fine. So, you can see we are rolling up into the kind of normal, boring, heavy spot with Infinity Mountain here. And we're just going to see, well, you know, is anyone going to pop up here that we can try and blap? Uh, so there's a Cromwell. Love a good tasty Cromwell. Unfortunately, it's me, Alchemy, from the Caddo Clan. So there's a clan, mate. He pops out again and... Oh, sorry, buddy. There's six, 765 damage. Just smashed right out of the park. Anyway, that's okay. He's still alive. We didn't one-shot him. He's fine. More than I can say for that KV1S, who did come around the corner to try and get a peek and got absolutely taken out from the team behind. You can see we've got a Hellcat, Super Hellcat, Style Waffen Trigger, T-34, 2G, FT. We got all the tank destroyers behind us. We are well and truly supported. Titan Tanker, unfortunately, getting taken out as well. You can see Guy Smiley, another Caddo Clan aficionado. Uh, now, I do admit, I have not fought AT-7s very often in this KV-2 at all. I usually don't play a lot of Tier 67, apart from the KV-2, which I bring out occasionally when I feel like I'm getting tilted. So what you are going to see me do here is something a little bit silly. Probably not going to happen just yet. But I am going to repeatedly try and find the Coppola of this tank. Now, I probably need to go and do a little bit of homework to see what you actually need to get through that Coppola. But I'm telling you, it looks like it's probably a little bit more than what I'm packing in my APCR. Uh, or in my premium AP rounds, I should say. Anyway, we're going to keep looking, waiting. Is this VK going to pop out? He looks like he wants to. He's rocking, he's trying to bait the shot, uh, which look, would usually work, but I'm, I'm, I just don't think I'm going to actually be able to find that shot, so I, I'm just going to wait. I pop out again, AT7's going to definitely spot me out here. Artie goes, hello there, and it's me, Alchemy, sorry buddy, there's the last 75 damage. He pops around to have a look, and KV2 just has heat-seeking missiles sometimes, that was not aimed. You don't aim a KV-2, that's just pop, bang, gone. So back in, unfortunately, Sammy also falling on the other side in his booty. Um, and look, I, I have been accused this week that my KV-2 never misses, but there is proof. Now on Twitch and YouTube that a KV-2 Ragnarok, this pay-to-win trash tank, does indeed miss. Anyway, I see that AT-7 may be thinking about pushing around, so we'll go up and see what he's doing. I get spotted out here, proxy spot by the looks of it, and here we go. This is where I start looking for this Capola. Where is it? There it is. And uh, there's the first bounce. It was quite clearly red now that I watch his back, so there's no way that was going in. But that's all right. As I said, I'm one of those people that is like, look, I messed up. That's fine. I can accept that. I will probably go and learn um, what the what the value, the armor values of that Capola are. So uh, I know for later what I need to do. So I I got from the, got one from the Type 58 in the butt. Uh, I'm still looking at that Capola. Maybe maybe I can't see that reticle quite as well in game as I can in the replay, which is kind of funny. Maybe I'm just not looking properly in game, but whatever. Hindsight is 2020. So I'm just kind of. Like, yeah, just driving around going, you know, where, where can I find some damage? I'm thinking about going around, and then, then I see a shot come in on that M6. I'm like, all right, so someone's blind firing from that corner. Not entirely surprising, but it does mean we're, we're not going to roll around there. We don't. We don't want to be someone's next dinner. So at this point, I'm the last one on my platoon. Guy Smiley from the Caddo Clan is the last one uh, on the platoon on the other side. And there's a bunch of other people, but this game has plenty 
of legs left in it. Nine minutes left on the clock. I'm only on eight, 840 damage so far. So we'll have to see if we can try and bump this up a little bit. Obviously, the KV2 isn't... Uh, I'll say isn't as strong as it used to be since they knocked out the HE rounds. Obviously, I still take a good wallop of HE rounds, but uh, the premium rounds, which actually weren't touched in the nerf, uh, we're, we're always good. We're just still using them. Uh, now, I'm probably, yeah, going to take one from the Hellcat here, but that's all right. We, we got spotting for it. We're up to a 1,000 spotting now. Uh, probably didn't want to lose that HP, but it is what it is. It's done. So, Slogger gets taken out. I can see my guys are getting absolutely minced by that AT-7 who has the small gun, by the way. Uh, guy Smiley. Ooh. He bounces. I do not. There's another 760 damage to the total. Thank you very much. Moving me up to 1,500 with 1,000 assist. And, uh, well, the writing's kind of on the board now. We're 1,200 HP up. We have a two-tank advantage. What else can we do here? There's another VK, another 725 damage. Taking me up to 2,200 now. And uh, that's what we got to do. We're just going to keep reloading quick and keep blapping these people. And, look, to be fair, they're letting me reload. They're not pushing in. So it, it's making it a little bit easier right now. We're going to come around this corner. There's the VK. Another shot in. 525. Thank you very much. Move us up to 2700 damage now. Only a few tanks left. We got the VK. 3601H. Hanging around here. 355 damage. Uh, are we going to get there in time? I don't know. KV2's not great up a hill. Uh, I have a feeling that that tank destroyer is going to get there. Yeah, there it is. And takes him out. So really, it's just... Couple of TDs and an RD left. So we're gonna. What can we do? Where can we try and find this damage? I'm kind of looking at where that 25 dash 2 is and going, you know what? Let's see if I can kind of get an angle on that. We know he's there. If he's still there, I might be able to drive up here. Maybe they haven't moved. Maybe they're still in that bush. Uh, but I, I figure when the when the TD's not really spotting anything, that. Okay. Maybe they've moved. Uh, that's right. We're just, we're just gonna grind up against each other a little bit here, but uh, I'm just like, are you there? You're not spotting me? No? Alright, you're not there. Where have they moved? Where have they gone? Could they be down here? Could they be around that rock? I obviously don't want, like, without any information, I don't really want to push off, and that's why. There they are. I'm like, alright, I can do this. At this point, I'm being told, no, you can't go down there. Yes, you can. KV2 is made of Stalinium. Just gonna take it nice and easy. And look at that graceful dismount, and we are completely down that hill without taking any damage. Anyway, Baylock, I hope you are. Uh, you just put your he head between your legs, kiss your butt goodbye, because there is a nice, juicy premium AP round going to that tank for another bunch of damage. 3,400 done now. Just the one tank destroyer left. Now I've gone the wrong way around. There is no way I'm getting there. No, well, I shouldn't get there. Uh, but. Anything could happen. I actually don't remember the end of this map. So we'll see how we go. M6. Oh, okay. Well, if the M6 is falling down to the T25AT, everything's a chance. Can we get that? One more shot of damage. 614 damage is now on the table, on the platter. All we've got to do is get around through that tank. That's looking pretty good. Me against the T52. He's spotted out. Here we go. I come around the corner and bang right into the tracks. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I'm not getting that reload off in time. Grim Reaper's going to have to finish that off. Maybe maybe Heaves here in this style. Waffen Trigger, and there we go. 3,400 damage done. 1,000 on the assist. Not a bad game. Let's check out the scores. All right, getting into the scores now. Uh, so, you can see this was my two-mark game in the KV2, which is why I wanted to put this one up. Uh, so, Ace Tanker for the 3,400 damage done XP-wise. We'll get to that in a second. You can see we, we finished off with 10,000 XP. Obviously, that's not what the base XP is, though. Uh, not Nice uh, credits. And we'll have to see if that actually made a profit, though. Obviously, you know, throwing out a fair bit of premium AP. We'll see how we go. Spotter Metal, because KB2 is best spotter. Everybody knows it. Proved right here. Bruiser, Fighter, Fire for Effect, as well as a Steel Wall for 875 damage done. Now, I comment, I comment on this one every time I see it in a replay. If you read the medal, you have to receive the most hits, at least 11. 
of any player on the team with a potential uh, potential damage of at least 100, uh, 1,000 HP. Well, I guess the potential damage could have been higher. I keep looking at what I actually blocked. Anyway, moving right along, and the high caliber for that 34, uh, 3,400 damage done. So you can see the KB2 um, is right, right at the top here. It's 1,600 base XP for that ace tanker. That's a nice amount of XP coming in there. Did I make a profit? Just this is without any, without any. Um, uh, I don't have anything running. No personal reserves. No credit makers. Just the KV2 itself. Walking away with twenty-four thousand uh, credit profit, which is actually all right at the end. Good thing I have the premium account. Had I not, I'd be uh, thirteen thousand in the red. It is what it is, that's alright, but we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I am Ragnarok, and you have already found me on YouTube. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Ragnarok TTV, as well as Twitter, as well as Discord, and a bunch of other places. All those links will be in the description below. If you want your replays sent, uh, featured on this channel, make sure you send them through. Any of those places is fine. Uh, I will take replays from anyone who is an... Who, it, who actually plays on the Asia Cluster, uh, but it doesn't matter what game the replay is from. But that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Good night.